All right, guys. All this junk come from online auction from a estate sale, two different estate sales. This sockets, the big ones, they're three quarter inch. Looks like I've got a whole set there. They need to be clean bad. I'm gonna, I'll make these look good, make them look new. They're all, they're Bonnie. I think the whole set is Bonnie. Wish I could really see them, but pretty sure the whole set is Bonnie. And I have a good, I have, uh, I'm starting to collect three quarter and one inch. And just so I can have a full set, but I paid $7 for this. So I think it was worth it. Clean it up, a set of sockets like that probably run close to $200. Uh, anybody that works on semis or tractors will know you need big ones like that. Now, I bought this battery charger. I thought it's an old May Meyer, I think. I don't know. I, uh, it's an old 6 volt, 12 volt battery charger, and I need to. I need to take it apart. It's uh, plugs all rotted off. Most of the wiring's rotted off. I'll uh, see if I got some wire. I need to find out if I got any uh, wire for my generator or for my uh, welders. I, I think I got some lead wire. I'll find out. I'll see what kind of wire I got and see if I can't get this thing to work just for the heck of it. Not that I need a antique battery charger but I think if I remember right my dad back in the day had one similar to this I think it was red and white and uh, has a rectifier in it that had to be replaced so I'll find out I hope it works and the rest of this stuff all this stuff laying on the floor here plus the battery charger I paid $46 which yeah it's kind of a lot but old Atasco, I got, uh, I don't know, looks like it's Chinese made. I do have a pair of Kleins. It's locked up, but, uh, hey, look at it. There's a nail in the center of it. Somebody used a nail, and that might be why it's stuck. Uh, some slip joints which they're hard, they're cobalt uh i got another pair of needle nose climbs and they're locked up but i'm i can get them these these climbs are worth it to find uh the rest of it the sockets i got an s and another s and k socket ratchet which is good i got a taiwan brand which don't need it got a S-wing, uh, roofing hatchet, I'll clean that up, use that as deconstruction hatchet. Then a uh, Ford spindle nut, which I don't need, but anyways, I don't work on Fords if I don't have to. More staples, electrical tape. Most of this is really not a good buy, but when you hit or miss in the auction. Oh, the other thing I did, this is English, an English pair of needle nose, which that's cool. I've got like three pair of English pliers now. Uh, it's not a best buy, but anyways, I couldn't see everything I was buying, the sockets, that are there on the floor. There's a 50-50 mix. Some of them are American made. Some of them are not. I got some Craftsman, some Taiwans. There's a Craftsman. Uh, there's a True Craft. That's Japan. So that one I'm definitely gonna keep. Put that with the others. Uh, yeah, little odds and ends. Uh, not, like I said, 
Sometimes it, when you buy from an auction, online auction, it's a hit or miss. And in this one, it wasn't a good, I didn't do real well. Hey, you figure if you, I bought the ratchets for $10 a piece. The clients say under $5 for both. Uh, yeah, I don't think I did very well. Now, I did very well on that. Those sockets, once they clean up, yeah, I can make them look brand new. Those, those are worth the money. Pay seven bucks for the whole set and easily used at $75. So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, oh, the trays, the plastic trays are junk. But that's what I got. I'll just let you know, sometimes you just can't win them all. Sometimes you get some good deals and sometimes you just uh, have to bite the bullet and get junk. All right, guys, give me thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me what you think. Y'all have a good day now.